I'm Gina Fit, your very friendly online and personal trainer. Do you have problems with your knees or do you have lower back problems? It could be due to tight hips. So in today's video, I'm going to record a hip opening exercise that will help to reduce lower back and knee pain. Are you ready? Grab your mats and let's go. Exercise, we've got the lying leg raises. Pretty straightforward, guys. One leg is bent and that foot stays flat on the floor. The other leg is extended and you just lift it up and down with control without banging your heel into the floor. So you want to just leave a couple of inches off the floor. Squeeze the abs, breathe normally control the movement. I know I did these a little bit quicker than I should have, so I'm sorry. You want to aim for about 12 repetitions. You can do a bit more. Anything from 12 to 20 is good. Make sure that your back stays flat on the floor at all times. So do not lift the hips up as they tend to want to do that a lot. Then we're onto the hip circles. Now for these ones guys, they can be a bit difficult if you're not used to doing these, but basically we'll be doing both directions on each leg, but to give the leg a break, you'll go in one direction and then you'll go to the other leg and you'll do the same here. I'm just going out or you can think about it as a clockwise direction to start with. I started using that because I've realized that some of my clients get a bit confused when we do these exercises. They're like, oh Gina, which way did I go? Which way do I need to go now? <laughs> so you decide whether you want to start clockwise and both of them or clockwise anti-clockwise is totally up science. Just do what works for you basically. If you're not very flexible in the hips, you might not be able to make a big circle. That's absolutely fine. Focus on keeping that leg as straight as possible and make sure that the opposite hip stays in the floor. Make sure that it doesn't lift up. Make sure that the bent knee doesn't wobble all over the place as it tends to do when we're not familiar with certain movements. So here, I think I've done about 20 repetitions, but if you can only do 12, that's fine. If you want to do more than 15 or more than 20, you go girl or guy, it's absolutely fine. Just make sure, as I said before, that your back stays flat on the floor and the opposite hip doesn't raise up off the floor. So you can use your hand and just keep that hip in place. Remind it that it needs to stay put. Go at your own pace, guys. When I just started doing these, the circle was really, really small because I didn't have a lot of flexibility in my hips and they hurt like hell. Actually, they still do. So I try to do them quite often because when I don't, I notice the difference straight away. So here we're going anti-clockwise in this leg. Again, aim for anything from 12 to 20 repetitions. Go at your own pace, guys. If you find that your range of motion is smaller than I'm doing, don't worry about it. Consistency is the name of the game. We're all running our own race here. I'm not as flexible as I'd like to be because I want to do it all and you really can't. You just have to prioritize as you see fit. But opening up the hips is actually very important to help with your day-to-day -day movement. If you sit down a lot in your job, these exercises will help to reduce lower back pain and knee pain. Now we're into the frog stretch, which I must say, guys, I've got a love-hate relationship with this one. I absolutely, I hate it more than I love it because it hurts like hell. And as you can see, I'm not very flexible in my hips, um, but it's fine. We're not competing. We're doing what's best for us and going at our own pace. One trick to make, to help you go further in the movement is to keep your heels close together as I'm doing now, it means that you can go further when you do the dynamic stretch, which is when you rock forwards and backwards. So do that for a few repetitions and then you hold for about 30 seconds. 
breathing gently, deep breaths in and out. Do what feels comfortable for you. You might feel a little pinch in your groin area. That's fine. Just don't overdo it. It's okay to come out of the exercise and then go back into it. Here we're back into the dynamic stretch. So that's just where you rock forwards and backwards. Just tiny movements, guys. Deep breaths in and out. Feel the burn. If you feel a little pinch in your groin, that's okay. As I said before, adjust the movement. Maybe you don't need to have your heels so far apart because it hurts, as in my case. There, I have to adjust. And then I was like, oop, nope, that hurts. So I brought my heels back in a bit closer into the dynamic movements again. So rocking forwards and backwards for 10, 12, 15 repetitions. Whatever you feel like doing is fine, but I'd say, I'd say 10 to 15 repetitions for the dynamic part. I like doing that before I go into a static stretch. And then for the static stretch, it just means you're holding the stretch. Count about 30 seconds. Hello, a little smile there for you. It was actually uncomfortable just thought I'd smile through the pain. It's all for the greater good. It's all for improving my squats. It's all for reducing lower back pain. I do have chronic back problems. Well, yeah, I've got a chronic back problem. I've actually got a slip disc in my lower back. So I have to stretch very regularly if I want to reduce my back pain. So this is how I know that this exercise is very good and that's why I do it even though I bloody hate it. Because it hurts, especially when I've got my heels out so far apart from each other. It really hurts, guys. Some of you might be naturally flexible and you'll find that you can go a lot deeper into this stretch. I'm a little bit jealous. I bet your partners are. Well, <laughs> if you've got one, <laughs> they'll be happy. The more flexible we are in our hips, the better and if you don't have a partner that's fine too it'll still help to reduce pain which is the main aim let's focus here guys let's not take our minds where they shouldn't go and that's it see oh that feels good and then you can test your squats see how low you can go and if you do these regularly, you'll find that you'll be able to go lower and lower into your squats. And as I said before, you'll have less knee pain, less lower back pain, and all will be good. And that's it guys. Let me know how you found this exercise, this mobility stretching exercise. Let me know how you found it in the comments below. guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week consistency is the name of the game bye for now in today's video i'm going to show you a hip opening exercise that will help you to perform your squats better and lower back pain reduce lower back pain ah!